Hey everyone, Britt and Chris Carmichael here bringing you the Elevated Life series where we teach you simple mindset shifts to create radical transformation in your life. I recently asked my Shine Tribe Sisterhood on a scale of one to 10, how anxious are you? How stressed out are you? And I was shocked to see so many high numbers like seven, eight, nine, ten, so many tens. So we decided that today's topic, we're gonna to teach you two powerful ways to eliminate stress and anxiety because this is exactly what we'll be teaching in the masterclass inside the Elevated Life Membership Club in April. So we thought we should equip you with some of those simple yet powerful tools to help you to eliminate built up, uh, pent up stress and anxiety that you don't know what to do with. It's an energy and you've got to get it out of your system. Yeah, after Britt told me the how high the numbers were, I was like, wow, I wonder if that's really indicative of what's going on globally or what's going on in the, in the US where we are. Yeah, and so let us know on a scale of one to 10, how anxious and stressed out do you feel currently in your life right now? In the comments below, first say hello, let us know where you're watching from and let us know your number. On a scale of one to 10, how stressed out and anxious are you? Yeah, so I, I looked it up. I, I wondered like how, how stressed is the average person? Like, is this a big deal? Is it not a big deal? Does it really matter? And come to find out what the science is showing, what, what the data is telling us, is that the biggest thing that we have to worry about, like the, the biggest way we're going to die in our lives, the one thing that's really going to take us there, how we're going to die, is stress. It's all stress related. It's about high blood pressure, talking about heart attacks, all the heart disease that we have, and things like that. It all stems from, or at least a, a big portion of it stems from being stressed out all the times. And the problem is our immune system tries to fight off something that's not actually there. You know, getting stressed, the, the big deal here is the fact that our mind doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's imagined. And so when you start to be anxious and you're living out in the future and you're creating a future that you don't love, your mind thinks that's going on. It actually thinks, oh my gosh, I'm there and these things are happening. And so your body starts producing the chemicals to fight that off except you don't actually have a disease and nothing's really going on. It's just all going on inside your head. And so I thought, oh my gosh, we've got to start talking about this. Stress is such a big deal. There's so many people who are just living a life that is very mediocre and it all starts with being anxious and stressed. And I believe that being anxious and stressed is a choice. You know, life happens, trauma happens, things happen. And it's all about how you manage your emotional energy and your energetic response. And stress and anxiety are just poor management of your own energy. So we're gonna teach you two powerful techniques today to manage that stress and to eliminate all of that anxiety. And they're very simple and you can do them right away. So let us know before we dive in on a scale of one to 10, how anxious are you feeling right now? This is going to be the topic that we're sharing all about in the month of April is overcoming anxiety. Yeah. So the number one thing to do, and we like doing this twice a week, and that is a simple Epsom salt bath. And I realize we've talked about that before on here. It's one of the things that we've been doing now for years and years and years and years, but I've never really explained how to do it. So all you do is run yourself a nice warm or hot bath go buy a big bag of Epsom salt. They sell them in like five or eight pound bags at a lot of grocery stores and stuff like that. Take four to eight cups of that, throw it in your bath, sit in the bath for a good 15, 20 minutes and stay there and relax. Don't bring your phone in there unless you wanna to listen to soft music, leave everything out. Just be there and be alone by yourself and that magnesium will absorb into your body and will start to automatically de-stress you. Magnesium is one of those cheat ways you can use. You know, it's basically the cheat codes. You take the magnesium, what ends up happening is your body automatically starts to relax. Isn't there a supplement that we also drink that has magnesium? Natural calm. Yeah. Natural calm supplement. So magnesium is the thing that helps to eliminate headaches. If people are having tension headaches, this is gonna give you the nutrients that you need. And who wouldn't want a nice relaxing bath? What about the people that don't have a bathtub? Get a friend. Go find a friend that has a bathtub that you can use their bathtub. It's true. We've been asked. So. Well, listen, the other thing you can do, they, they sell a deal now that looks like a little mini kid's pool. It's like a little bath and it's just like you literally fill it up with water. You can do that exact same thing. Put the Epsom salt in there. Just drain it when you're done. 
So Tina says one. eight out of ten for the stress level and the thoughts give anxiety. Yeah, for well, sure. That's exactly where they come that's from. That's exactly where they came from. And the fact that you have the awareness that your negative thinking is creating the anxiety shows that you're on the path of healing and transformation. So congratulations on knowing at least where your anxiety stems from. If you want to take that a little bit further and learn how to eliminate the thoughts and recreate those patterns so anxiety isn't even a question in your life anymore, then you might want to join us for the masterclass on April 9th. That will be inside the monthly membership club for the Elevated Life. Yeah, so if you want to come hang out and learn how to overcome anxiety, then definitely come check us out, brittanycarmichael.com slash membership. You can find the link in um, Chris's bio here on Instagram, and I'll be sharing it in the comments below here on Facebook. So let's dive into number two. This is a really fun one, and you can do it right now. No bath, no salt required. Our method for stress relief and anxiety relief is all connected to, like Tina says, the thoughts and the body, right? Our body responds to the thoughts that we think. And when we feel stress and feel anxiety, we feel it in the body. A lot of us hold stress and tension in our shoulders and we tighten up and we have these really sore necks, right? Yeah, that's exactly what happens. So we're gonna teach you the tense and release method so that you can learn how to take that energy that you've stored in your body, coming from the thoughts, and get it out of your system. Yeah, and we, like Britt said, we're all storing that through the tension that we have once we feel the emotion. Think about when you felt anger or when you felt afraid of something or any kind of like that, your body automatically starts to tense up. You kind of cower down and it's, it's this tight motion, but we don't really do it to an extreme and release it. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Tensing and releasing just means taking a good five to 10 seconds and tensing your body as hard as you can. Like the whole body. Build it up. It's not one of those things like, oh, I'm tense now. It, it should be one of those things like where you Like every shaking. muscle that you can possibly find the courage and muster to tense it, you have to tense every muscle from head to toe. Tense it for five long seconds. Tense, 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 and then, oh, totally allow yourself to relax. Yeah, and one of the things you can do is if you, if you want to take a nice big breath in and tense and hold it and just squeeze, I mean, it, it ought to feel like the world is ending. Like that's how much tension you want to build in the body. And when you breathe out, when, when it's over and you let go, just let it all just like drain out through the bottom of your feet. And what will end up happening is that accumulated storage that you've had, all, all that anxiety and all that stress and all that, you know, just all that crap that we carry for so long and have no way to release it, this is one of the most perfect ways to do it. It tells your body to tense those muscles enough and then you're actively releasing it at the same time. So it's being aware and knowing what your body's doing and how it's responding whenever you get in these kind of situations. So um, Anne says she's a shoulder holder. <laughs> yeah, for sure. most of us are. Yeah. This is such a big deal. Yeah, it's true. Especially as a hairdresser, my right arm holds so much tension because I'm not only using it, but I'm also storing so much energy there. So it's important to know where you hold your energy. Check in on that and use methods like rolling out on the cross balls or this tense and release. You don't even have to have anything else. That will help to start melting away that stress. Um, Julia says, I feel like working out helps me to release anxiety and stress. That's Chris's, one of his favorite methods. And also says she loves your shirt. Yeah, 100% inspired. <laughs> so we've been doing this for a few years now and we've come up with our own language here on The Elevated Life and 100% inspired has been uh, one of those creations. So I decided to make him a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, and, and talking about talking about working 11, out, 11. working out real quick, the reason why working out works so well is because typically you're going to be huffing and puffing, you know, you're going to be out of breath. Your muscles are going to be screaming. And they're going to need that oxygen. That blood flow is pumping. And so it's hard to live in the future. Anxiety can only, only, this, this is the biggest. If you get this part, you really understand anxiety and stress. Anxiety can only live when you create a future you don't like. And so when you're working out, Woo! when you're in the gym, when you're running, when you're doing that, you get the runner's high, that kind of thing. It's because all of those thoughts have stopped. And so you can't have a future. It's not, you're not projecting out a future. And without that projected future, you don't have anxiety. It doesn't exist. That's, that's what it takes. And so when you're working out or doing anything that brings you into the present moment, that's why mindfulness is so big. That's why meditation is so big. Yoga is so big. Breathing practices are phenomenal. You guys know we always are preaching that. It's always because they bring you to the present moment. And when you're there... There's no extra accumulated emotions. You're, you're just there. You're not doing something else. You're not thinking about you. You're just in the flow states. 
So let's do some re-changing in their minds really quick. Since you guys know we're talking about overcoming anxiety inside the membership club, we're teaching a masterclass on April 9th. So if you want to join us live for deeper training on how to eliminate this anxiety. Deep, deep training. Oh, and guide it. We're going to guide you through three powerful meditations as well to teach you and anchor in all of the training that you learn so that it's not just surface level learning, that you actually make those subconscious changes. So come hang out with us inside the membership club. Now, what you can do right now to reframe your thoughts if you want to eliminate anxiety. The way that you're going to do this is think about what is the number one thing you are most anxious about right now? Just in this moment, because remember, this is the only moment that matters. Like we could be anxious about being eaten by a bear, but if we're never going to be around a bear, why are we wasting our energy creating a future that's <laughs> never going to happen? So what are you most anxious about in your life right now? And do you have the courage to, to name it, to claim it, to share it in the comments below? Let us know where do you hold that anxiety? What's the number one thing you're most anxious about? Now, what thoughts do you hold around this story or this idea? What are you project? Like Chris said, man, wisdom bomb. What are you projecting out into the future that is saying, I'm going to fail? You know, Chris always says worry is living in the future and planning to fail. And if you're living in the future and planning to fail, AKA worrying, then you're going to create the feeling of anxiety in your body because our thoughts create the physical sensations within our body. So if you want to feel happy, if you want to feel joyful and pleasurable and, and, and playful, then you have to start thinking those kinds of thoughts rather than fear-based negative worry ones that are not in alignment with what you know to be true for you. Um, so true. A good run on the treadmill helps me. Yes, it gets you out of your head, back into your body and into the moment because if you fuck up on the treadmill, you're done. <laughs> like that's going to be a good uh, YouTube video. <laughs> yeah. um, Julia says her anxiety is about not finishing her book. <clears throat> yeah, you see, and you can tell what happens there. It's that a thought pattern has taken over your ability to create action. Because the only thing that stops you from finishing a book is action. It's just sitting down and doing it. There's no more to it than that. And so what you really have to come up with is look at what anxiety costs you. And so just stop projecting it on the future. Stop doing it all together. Yeah, if you don't know how to do it correctly, then just practice being here by bringing your awareness and focus to your breathing. And we know that our breath holds so much power in eliminating stress. That's another technique we'll be teaching inside the masterclass. Um, being in misalignment. Well, Anne, you can't miss misalignment. You'll know exactly how it feels because you won't feel in that flow state like Chris talked about. Julia says procrastination. Uh, Melanie says not having enough money. Yeah. You know, that's something we cover inside the membership club. And once you join, you get access to all of our past content and uh, success mindset and mastering money and busting those money myths and beliefs that you hold that um, are based in lack. We cover that as well. There's so many topics that we cover now that we've been doing it a year. And you know what? Something to celebrate. I want to know your celebration. It's Friday. We're about to go have a great weekend. We're headed down to Fredericksburg to an elephant preserve and we're going to go hike Enchanted Rock. We are so excited to dive into nature and gain some wisdom from it. Um, but we are celebrating that we just received our trademark for the Elevated Life. So we are the official proud owners of the phrase, the elevated life. So all of our elevators inside the club, thank you for all of your support. We've been doing it a little over a year now. We've been doing these free live videos for two or three years now, so which is crazy. We had this dream that we wanted to share our wisdom and support and inspire other people, but we just had to start. And it took a long time for us to start. We started and then stopped, and then we would try this and then we wouldn't. And then we just decided this is what we're meant to do. So whatever that thing is for you, just start because you're gonna get better. And here we are celebrating the fact that we received our trademark. So share in the comments below your big celebration of the week. Mercury is direct. Let's throw a little woo-woo in here. Hello, we can all go back to a normal life again. <laughs> there was so much truth that was revealed during that time. Um, Tina says, sometimes I give myself time to be anxious and the anxiety actually stops for a little while. Yeah, you know, it's like one of those deals that we all have these, these sort of these monsters, these fears we're always running away from. And the, 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 funniest, thing, the funniest exercise you can do is turn around and face them. Because yeah. you hear, you always, the monsters that we run from are the voices that we have inside our head. They're the voices that disempower us. And so the second you turn and say, say it again, there's no monster there. There's nobody there that never was. It was just that voice. And you can make that voice do anything you want it to do. You can pay attention to it. You can let it ramble. You can let it do whatever. Just don't let it control you. You're, don't let the tail wag the dog, right? Be the dog.
Beautiful. Bonnie says she is celebrating a new chapter and a new path. Congratulations, Bonnie. Bonnie. Julia says celebrating that I am committing to my morning workouts daily and seeing results. Yes. Feels, I, feels good to feel good. I know. I am celebrating that with you, sister. I'm celebrating uh, linging, uh, living in the now. Nice. That is the biggest celebration because that is the only moment you can enjoy it, right? I'm so glad it's over. Um, so, so proud of you guys. You guys are so amazing. Amber says, celebrating my special needs kiddo playing with neighborhood kids last amazing. night. Amazing. Huge deal. Amazing. Congratulations, Amber. That is a big deal. Beautiful. Small baby steps make the biggest change over time. So that's incredible. Yay. Oh my gosh. It's so amazing. So tag someone that you're, that you want to celebrate. This is, this is such an amazing, your energy today, you guys are on fire. So if you know someone who would love this message, who could use a little empowerment, right? We're going to keep, we're going to keep playing on this word. Uh, then tag them in the comments below, share this video. Thank you so much for tuning in here every Friday at 11 AM central standard time here on the elevated life series. We look forward to seeing you guys next week. We'll be sharing probably how the elephant wisdom inspired us yeah. and I can't wait to connect with you guys if you want to learn how to overcome anxiety if you want to take this training this coaching and these techniques that we have for you they're simple guys very very simple things that you can do to stop the anxiety you don't have to live a life of worry based in fear or lack it is a choice and we're here to inspire you to make new better positive choices so come join us inside the membership club it's only $22 a month I had someone message me and say oh my god I didn't realize it was only $22 I'll be I'm in right now and she signed right up so it's only 22 bucks you access all of our content we hope to see you there and we'll see you guys on Friday peace Bye guys.